Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain you about a star algorithm and its implementation in the Python programming. A star algorithm will fall under heuristic algorithms and it is widely known as best first search uh, algorithm that is A star algorithm. It evaluates the nodes by combining GH fast to reach the node and hn is a heuristic value the cost to get from the node to the goal node. so the total function what we are evaluating is f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n and since g of n is the path cost from the start node to the current node and uh, h of n is the estimated cost of the cheapest path from the current node to the goal node so we have f of n is equal to estimated cost of the cheapest solution through the current node here n represents the current node thus we are trying to find out the cheapest solution a reasonable thing to try the first is the node with the lowest value of g of n plus h of n. Let's discuss about the A star algorithm with an example by taking the Romania map. This is a simple uh, road map of Romania, a part of Romania. And we'll take Arad as a source and Bucharest as a destination. This algorithm should find out the shortest distance between Arad and Bucharest. This is a heuristic uh, uh, the shortest uh, or you can call it like a heuristic value for each and every city and this can be obtained by just uh, measuring a straight line distance between each city to uh, Bucharest. Assume these are some values. So from Arad to Bucharas, let us assume we will take around 366 kilometers and so on, which is represented for each city. Now let us start from the initial state Arad. Now you have to calculate the F of N for Arad. So uh, the cost to reach from the starting node to the current node, which we called it as an G of N is initially zero here for Arad and then a straight line distance is 366 from Arad to Bucharest so that we got from this table total 366 now expand the Arad when you expand the Arad See, by going through this graph, you can say that you can move from Arad to either Zerin. It will take 75 kilometers. From Arad to Sibiu, it will take 140 kilometers. From Arad to Timusara, it will take 118 kilometers. So these are the three cities what we can reach from Arad. Take Sibiu. Uh, first, you have to calculate the G of N plus H of N, which is equal to F of N. So, we calculated for uh, CPU like this. 140 is uh, treated like a G of N. So, where we can get this 140 value uh, from the graph. See here, from, if you want to travel from the source to the current node, assume that you are in CPU. So, G of N will become 140. <coughs> And you will get uh, uh, a straight line distance, which is called as an H of N for CPU from this table. See CPU here, so which is 253. Now add these two things, you will get 393. So like this, you calculate for each and every node. For Timisura, you will get 447. For Zerand, you will get 449. So, among all these things, next you have to choose the shortest one. So, the shortest one is CPU. 
okay so shortest value is cpu so you choose cpu and you try to expand cpu so when you expand cpu so you can reach from cpu to all these nodes okay so from cpu to ara you can reach again to ara so no need of this actually but uh, you have to uh, uh, take all these things then uh, fagaras uh, oridia and then jimq valencia so for all these cities you just try to calculate f of n as we did for cpu and when you are calculating for for example let us uh, assume that you are calculating for uh, remq valencia you are trying to calculate f of n for remq valencia it is 413 how you got this 413 this is g of n 220 220 you got this uh, uh, distance from a source to the current node right? the distance from cpu to remq valencia is added with the distance from ara to cpu so you will get 220 and then uh, yeah, heuristic straight line distance is 193 uh, that you can get directly from this table right? so this representation so now uh, you got uh, 413 for remq valencia so like this you calculate for all these cities okay so now you just try to identify the shortest value or the smallest value the smallest value is for remq valencia now you go to remq valencia and you expand remq valencia so if you expand remq valencia so these are the cities what we will get as a nodes here and now you calculate f of n for each city and please observe here among all these cities you you got less value for fitas t 417 for fitas t but if you see the previous level so fagaras has 415 but fitas t has 417 so you should not go in this way and just you uh, backtrack to fagaras and then you try to expand fagaras if you expand fagaras you will reach to bucharest but so it will take 450 but when you look at pitasti it is there is a chance to reach uh, uh, bucharest with 417 itself so you will backtrack again from uh, this fagaras to pitasti again and you will expand pitasti so if you expand pitasti you will get, you will reach to uh, the other nodes and as well as bucharest but if you see uh, f of n value for bucharest so it is 418 so which is the shortest among all the values what you have found previously see the previous value what you have found for bucharest is through fagaras you reached with value 450 but if you reach uh, uh, in this particular path so arad to cbu and then remq valencia pitasti and bucharest it will take only 418 so this is how you can find the shortest path by using a star algorithm this is a code for uh, a star algorithm and before going to explain this code so we, you need to construct this uh, uh, heuristic value so which is this table heuristic straight line distance values and you have to construct this kind of map so instead of giving this map as an input so you give the city names distance among the cities so like that if you give it in the form of uh, text it will become very easy to uh, read the content and uh, to uh, to process the data so in order to do that we have taken uh, two files one file is to represent uh, distance among the cities and one val one file is taken to represent the straight line distance see this Romania underscore SLD is a text file which will help us in identifying or representing the straight line distance from one city to reach Bucharest. Okay, and so which is represented here in slides in the form of table. So this is what we represented there as a heuristic distance in the text file. and next 
uh, we'll try to represent what we have represented in map in a text file. So Romania is a file which represents a, 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 a similar to a map like this. Arad to Zeran 75 kilometers, Arad to Sibiu 140 kilometers, Arad to Timisoro right? 118 kilometers, and so on. You will try to read all these content and we will try to uh, perform the A star algorithm. Okay. So, in order to do that, your program requires a queue to store <coughs> a cities. Okay. So, for that, we implemented or we have imported uh, heap queue and we implemented a class called uh, priority queue which takes the cities in the form of list and which will help us in uh, pushing the uh, cities into uh, queue and then which will help us in hopping the uh, cities from the queue okay? and which will help us in uh, searching whether it is empty the queue is empty so if the queue is empty, it returns uh, uh, true. Otherwise, it will return false. Uh, check we do not use this check. So check will return the uh, just say cities. Okay, that is about the uh, queue. What we'll use, and then coming to uh, the main part of the program. The first statement to execute. Since it is the main program, so it will become main function, and name of the function is the uh, special function underscore underscore main. Now the control enters into it and here we called a main method. Okay. So we defined a main method here, the control jumps into the main method. So here SRC is arar and DST is book arrest. Now we are calling a make DICT, uh, which is a function we have defined and the control jumps to make DICT. See here, make DICT is taking the text file, Romania text file, which is representing to the entire map. And we'll write, read the content line by line by going through this uh, for loop. And we are splitting the content based on the comma. Okay. So, uh, line and assign data to a line. So, line with index 0 represents to the first city. Uh, let me show you this. See, this is Romania, uh, which is a text file. We are reading the first line for the first time. Okay. And we are splitting this with a comma. Uh, so, and it is assigned to line, list line. So, line of zero index represents to RR, which is the first city here, CT1. Then line of one, index one, is handed over to uh, CT2, here it is Jaran. Then uh, line of 2, which is representing to an integer value. So uh, as we read, it it might be read in the form of string. And in order to convert it into an integer, we converted it into an integer and hand over it to a variable called DIST. Then the very important thing what we are doing here is we just created an empty Romania uh, is which is representing to a dictionary. Romania is an object which is representing to a dictionary. So what you are trying to do is you are trying to create a dictionary uh, with <coughs> uh, city one first in the first line here. So the same same kind of line is repeated for two times. The first line here is representing to a key value arad here into uh, which will be placed into a Romania dictionary. Okay, so first Arad will be taken as a key. And then the second city and its uh, uh, DIST, which is representing to the kilometers or uh, distance. Okay, so combination of this city two and its distance will be handed over to the dictionary with a key Arad. Okay, and uh, quite opposite to it in the second line, we'll do that. So the second city we will take that is Zara, and then you will combine city one and its uh, corresponding distance. So.
so this indicates that whether you travel from arad to zeran or zeran to arad so it will take only the 75 kilometers okay so vice versa in order to represent this we made it into a dictionary so we'll make this for all the values in the dictionary we'll make for all these entries uh, into this dictionary romania okay so this is about this make uh, dict function then the control goes back again where we have called make dict so the control next comes to here a star src and dst which represents to uh, arad and bukarest so the control goes back again to this function call a star goes to the function call a star see here so now uh, arad is represented with a variable call star and bukarest is represented with a variable call n now we just create a, a empty dictionary which stores uh, uh, path so which will help us in storing the cities which will fall under on the path and will uh, try to create uh, distance is an empty dictionary which will help us in uh, 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 storing the distances what we we have uh, traversed and then we are just trying to create an object to the priority queue and next we are trying to uh, make heuristic distance with this function okay make a heuristic dict is a function which will help us in uh, reading the heuristic values so the control moves to the definition of this function okay so where uh, h is an empty dictionary here and then we are trying to open a romania underscore sld.txt file let me show you that text file this is the text file which contains the city and its uh, heuristic distance so we'll read it uh, line by line we'll split them based on the comma and we are uh, treating this uh, uh, city name as a key in this dictionary and this as a value okay so an integer number will be treated as a value the city will be treated as a key and all these things will be handed over to a dictionary so this will be made for all these values or all the entries in this file okay so finally h will be returned and the control goes back here and the same thing uh, will be returned by the function and will be handed or thrown to the variable h then we are trying to push uh, initially the start so which uh, in our case it is arad we pushed it into a queue and then uh, we just uh, trying to have a, a distance okay so it it, it is actually at first the time it is empty so uh, start is representing to its key and its value is assigned to zero then <clears throat> uh, path so path is a uh, also a dictionary so where its uh, start is representing to arad so arad will act like a key here and its value is none initially uh, which will help us in uh, storing the uh, the path what we traverse from arad to bukarest the next one is expanded list which will help us in storing the cities uh, what we have expanded okay so if you take this example so total expanded uh, see in this example whatever we have uh, uh, calculated here so total expanded list will become 6 how is arad we have expanded arad cbu fagaras Uh, remicu valsia pitasti and also you please uh, uh, remember this point you, you also feel that you have expanded this bukarest so totally you have expanded uh, six nodes so we want to store all these six things and we uh, have to represent all this uh, expanded list so in order to store all this expanded list we have just created a list with a name expanded list initially it is empty now uh, if the queue is empty then uh, it will return false so this condition will become true uh, then uh, uh, if this is uh, see e queue dot is empty so is empty will return true if the queue is empty or otherwise it will return false 
that means if there is something in the queue then this condition will become uh, true and will enter into this while loop the, uh, now let us uh, pop some uh, city from uh, yeah, the queue and then treat it as a current now you treat that the current node is expanded you append it to into an expanded list so initially our uh, uh, city is current is, uh, is uh, current city is r you have expanded this if current is equal to n so then you you, you if you end is nothing but bucharest so current is r so you won't uh, do it so if you reach the destination then uh, this condition will become true then you are trying to come out of this loop so break will help us in coming out of the loop then for loop <clears throat> this is uh, the true logic so which will help us in uh, Uh, getting all the uh, content from that okay so uh, whatever you have expanded try to calculate the g cost for each node and then uh, so see uh, the sequence what we are receiving here is from romania which is a dictionary we will start from the current node and the name of the current node is uh, ara so since the current is representing to a key so whatever this romania dictionary contains with a key error so all those values will be retrieved and will be hand over one after another to new okay so for example if you take the current index is error and then if you see error we have uh, uh, expanded all these things right uh, zerand uh, cbu and temesoro so all these will be represented in it okay so first one by one it it is going to consider the city whenever it considers a city first it is going to calculate this its g cost so initially the, the distance of the current node will be zero and then uh, new distance for example if you take uh, uh, from zaran so its distance will be 75 and the 75 0 plus 75 will be included as a g cost and then you are checking a condition if uh, new dot city is not in the distance or g cost is less than the distance of the new city which is representing to an index new dot city is representing to an index if this is condition is true then you will enter into this and you will calculate the distance for uh, uh, the city and you assign it uh, a g cost for the city what you have considered with this index and then uh, you have to calculate the f cost so f cost is nothing but uh, uh, g of n plus uh, the heuristic cost so g cost uh, plus heuristic cost see heuristic here is again uh, is a function call here so we'll jump back to the heuristic function call which will be taken a node as a uh, as a uh, value or an index and uh, whenever you find a particular so here node represents to a city and value represents to uh, a distance so the value will be corresponding value for the city will be displayed the heuristic value for the city will be returned by this function okay so the heuristic value uh, you will get here so for example if you are calculating this for the first time like uh, zaran so the heuristic value what you will get is 374 okay so if you want to display what you have calculated f cost so g cost uh, uh, is like 75 and uh, the heuristic cost is like we have uh, represented I've represented here 374 so it is added and you will get 490 uh, sorry 449 as an output if you want to see whatever you have calculated uh, uh, f cost you just try to print it and whatever the g cost if you have uh, calculated you just try to print over here okay and then uh, after calculating if you uh, you just push this uh, city and its f cost onto the queue and then assign the path as a uh, what you have traversed and the current is handed over to uh, the path and by based on the index new dot city and after calculating so this will be repeated continuously for uh, each and every city which has been expanded from a current node okay so uh, this will be repeated until you reach this current is equal to n 
then then only it is going to break then after doing all these things so it will come out of the loop and just we are trying to uh, print the output what we have constructed start end path okay, distance and expanded list so if this is a function call the control jumps to this function call see here just we are trying to display all the things whatever we have calculated a final path we uh, we have whatever we calculated that in path and then uh, uh, whatever you have uh, uh, just calculated as an expanded list and the length of the expanded list and the final path you just try to display all those things onto the screen and uh, uh, distance at the end so the end is representing to the book array so distance is uh, uh, a value or the dictionary what we have considered here so that will be uh, calculated and it will be evaluated as a total cost that will be displayed as a total cost so now just execute this program and see here this has given you that uh, the list of cities that are expanded is arad cbu dmq valsia fagaras pitasti and uh, bukarest these are total six cities what we have expanded you can see it in this uh, diagram okay so total six cities and now you can see that uh, the final path is uh, uh, without this uh, uh, fagaras right so we should not uh, include this fagaras because uh, uh, we traverse from cbu so arad to cbu then we traverse to rimkuvansia pitasti and bukarest so no need to represent fagaras so here fagaras has been eliminated and uh, these are the nodes which are involved in our final path and the cities what we got in the final path is fine and the total uh, cost we got is 480 okay so this is about a star algorithm i hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching this video